Good morning everyone. This is going to be kind of a haphazard video because I wasn't planning on making a video, but I haven't seen anything online about uh, installing a post for a Tesla charger. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make one. So we just recently purchased the Cybertruck and with that it comes with a uh, Gen 3 charger. So now we have three Teslas and we're going to need another charger in the front of the house. So we had some plumbing damage and at the time I put a conduit in. As you can see the conduit goes from here straight to the electrical box. And uh, you know obviously that's pre-planning you have to do. It's This is not going to be a video for everybody but uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to put a post here and then when the Gen 3 charger comes in uh, the electrician is going to mount that Gen 3 charger to the post. So we ordered from Tesla online. This will be easier with two hands. All right. So this post it's going to be mounted right there and we'll have a Tesla charger on it and uh, we'll be able to charge more than one car. Okay, the, the way we're going to mount this is kind of going to be like, uh, since there's a slope in the driveway, we're going to mount it kind of like a, let's see, a light post where we set the anchors down and then we level the anchors and then we set the uh, post on top of the anchors and then once it's level, then normally you put grout underneath it like a concrete type substance to give it some rigidity but because the electrician hasn't ran the wires yet we're just going to set the bolts and level it and then put like one bolt in there so that when he comes here he can remove the post and it'll be easier to pull the wire and then once he pulls the wire he'll put it in the uh, in the post and then we'll bolt it down and then grout it so unfortunately it's not going to be a complete video but we'll get you like 90 percent there you know, today, this is kind of a little easy thing here, but uh, I'm not gonna wear my bags. Normally you wear tool bags so that you can have everything you need, but I just have it stashed right over here. First thing we're gonna do is establish, and the dogs are barking. The post goes over the conduit, and then we're gonna establish where this is gonna go. So we're going to uh, square it up with the house. So this is 31 and a half. Come on, I got it on the first try. Okay, well it's 31 and a half. That's, uh, that's squared with the house. Now we'll go ahead and mark our holes. Now, these aren't gonna be perfect because this plate's at a slant right now. And it's okay because you can bend the bolts a little bit. I mean, you don't wanna, you don't wanna bend them where they come dislodged, but they do have some kind of give. It's like everything, uh, the price of everything's going up almost to the point of ridiculous. Uh, the bolts, just a gift for this, were 60 bucks. Now it was probably $20 more than uh, it needed to be because each, these are galvanized Hilti bolts. They're, uh, they're half inch by five and a half inches. And uh, you want galvanized because they're going to be exposed to water and, and the sun and everything. Um, and also you want the length because you want to be able to adjust it for the slant of the uh, the driveway. I mean, you can cut off what you don't need, so it's not a big deal if they're longer. They just can't be shorter. Uh, I bought the whole box because each bolt was like five or six bucks, and uh, even though I only needed four, I got the 12, and then if I get another project coming up, sometimes instead of buying one individual uh, box, uh, one individual bolt, 
it's cheaper to buy a box and have that ready because anybody that knows that when you have a house you're always working on it and you're all you know I'm gonna be able to go in the garage and pull this out instead of having to go to the store to get more uh, plus if I screw up I can get it from the box the other thing I did is I bought uh, 12 uh, galvanized washers and 12 galvanized nuts so this is what I'm going to use to level the the installation is the nuts and the washers the embed depth is two and three eighths okay so we can go two and three eighths we can actually go three inches because uh, I have extra and then the uh, drill bit is a half inch So as the bolts go in, you want to put a nut at the end so that you're not pounding on the threads. So that goes in here. Here. That is in. Now we're going to grab our, our galvanized nuts. First, let's test and see. So we're looking down. I can see if that one is a little out. there these are gonna level these are gonna level our posts and these are gonna be lower on this end because it slopes toward me and these are gonna be a little higher Now we're not going to completely finish this, but so this would be considered mounted with the exception uh, there would be grout or concrete that we pack underneath here and should be a level in each way and then the charger the Tesla charger will go here and uh, then it'll be installed so hopefully that helped everybody and then you can see that uh, it is doable with the exception of, uh, of, of course, you'd have to trench, run the conduit and then run the wires. That's a whole nother ball game, but uh, this is showing you how just to install the post. 
and uh, as you can see the post isn't very difficult to install it's easy to level and uh, it should last for years thank you